those of you that have just purchased the ticket for the night tour, haven't done the daytime tour, I'll tell you a little Opposite bit about game O'Connell game. Street here. Opposite Try to ignore the ridiculous monument yeah. of light here on our right hand side. This was put in to celebrate the millennium, however, not very good at arriving on the entry street of the millennium monument. I'd like to have seen the others, if that's the best thing to come up with. The building on the right here was the focal point of a siege in 1916, yeah. rising against British forces in an attempt to achieve our independence. And the rebels did have to surrender to the British forces. But this encouraged a lot of Irish to take up arms and fight for the independence we achieved in 1922. Local burrito bar, Boosham, has got the Irish police's seal of approval there. It looks like they're going off to enjoy their lunch. We're heading left here on to Abbey, Abbey Street. Abbey Street was the location where George Frederick Hannibal spent nine months of his life on the run-up to Messiah, the premier of this place here in Dunlop on the 13th of April, 1742. Oh. Spoons there on the left hand side. British guests will be familiar with their work. <laughs> college students drunk at a low and affordable price for many years now. I you know you're laughing because you're well outside your college days and you still go there, let's face it. So we can pass this very ugly railway bridge here just on the right hand side is going to be the custom house <laughs> this is the jewel of the crown of georgian architecture here in dublin four figures above the pillars there on the right represent the four known continents when the building was put up in 1791. Asia, Africa, Europe and America. Had no idea Australia existed at the time. <laughs> The target of imperialism during the War of Independence. The building was heavily damaged in that time, rebuilt in 1924. Services Centre. This is the start of the Dockland area, built up in the 1980s. And there's no end to the building in, in sight. Going on 
in this area. For businesses and also for residences, this area was recently deregulated for the height of buildings in Dublin. So they have been permitted to build skyscrapers now in this area. Not sure how I feel about that. Dublin has always been a very flat mm -hmm. city as far as architecture. From the Monument of Light, of course. These figures on the right hand side here represent her famine. It's a famine memorial. The sculptor was Roman Gillespie. One million people died during our potato famine. Further, two million emigrated. The museum here on the left hand side, Epic, celebrates those who have moved on to a new life the new world have made a name for themselves. Epic stands for every person is counted. It's actually one of our most popular attractions here in Dublin. The Liffey here on the right is a replica of the Jeannie Johnston, one of the many coffin ships which took many of our immigrants to the New World. This replica went on one of the many voyages that the original boat would have taken. It is now a museum. You can go on there and see what the voyage would have been like for our immigrants. Jeannie Johnson was known for the captain James Atteridge, who was one of the more compassionate and humane captains of the coffin, coffin ships, ensure that it wasn't overloaded so that disease didn't spread. We had a far better chance of making the voyage safely. Yes. That is good. We're coming up to the Samuel Beckett Bridge here. was Santiago Calatrava. What he was going for was to replicate a harp. He's done a fairly good job of that. It does look quite like a harp sitting on its side. Rotates through 180 degrees to allow boats to pass. This building ahead on, on our left hand side is the convention centre. sat in there during lockdown in order to socially distance. This nicknames the tube and the cube. left 
just outside here is the European headquarters for the tech dictatorship called Facebook. <laughs> they have a new name these days, but let's face it, they're not getting away from their turbulent past. Oh gosh, image theater here on our left, currently showing Chicago. Oh gosh, is our national gas supplier. Street, named after Patrick Pierce, who was the gentleman that came outside the GPO in 1916, reading that proclamation, which started the 1916 Rising. side based on the history of that particular gentleman it tends to be a nationalist pub. So for our friends from across the Irish Sea, my best suggestion to you would be to keep your chat to a minimum if you decide to enter that pub. That's a friendly reminder. Very friendly. <laughs> recommend taking the dart out to Holt, a lovely fishing village on a peninsula that juts out into the Irish Sea. At the summit there you've got some beautiful views out over Dublin Bay, out of the city. There's also a fishing village, so you get some great fish and chips out there. The dart takes about 25 to 30 minutes to get to Holt. Westland Road under the railway bridge. This is the main entrance to the pier station on our left hand side. <coughs> so I'm having come from the Dockland area, those modern buildings. Just imagine now we're heading back in time heading into Georgia Dublin. along the way if you're staying nearby or 
there's some dinner reservations for somewhere in the area, just come down and let me know. We'll drop you off. Safe spot. Let's see Oscar Wilde's statue in there on the left. So at Marion Square Park, lit up very nicely. I appreciate the coloured statue in there with lights shining up onto it. Childhood home here on the left. schnauzer that I dog walk for. <laughs> Those of you that have taken the tour with me during the day may have mentioned that we head into Fitzwilliam Square Park down here on the left, the only Georgian Square in Dublin that is still in private hands. I've been lucky enough to go in there via that little cute white schnauzer you just saw.
the archway here, going towards the River Liffey. Get the opportunity to pop off at stop number 24. And complete our tour down by Parnell Square, stop 25, and back to stop number 1. If anybody wishes to get out along the way, just let me know. the Hickney Bridge to Temple Bar if you have any reservations over there to see. Thank you. 